Thankfully, it doesn't happen all the time, but hey, I got something wrong. Nextool has upgraded their mini flagship and I totally looked at the wrong part. So we will look at the two areas where Nextool has done some significant upgrades to their mini flagship. Now, in my previous video, I had talked about how the spring was upgraded on the scissors. If you take this apart, there's a spring inside. I'll show you some clips of that in a little bit. But that is not really what Nextel was even talking about. I'm not even sure if that was upgraded. What they upgraded were these tabs right here. So the spring tabs for the scissors, also the spring tabs for the pliers as well. And this is how you can tell if it has been upgraded or not. This is the non-upgraded version. There's no indentations in these spring tabs, as you can see right there. There's nothing right there. But on this one, both the tabs for the scissors and also the pliers have been upgraded. Now that is, that's pretty significant for Nextel and for many of you. So in my last video, which I will probably take down, I'll probably just leave this video up because I think there's not a whole lot of informational value in that. These tabs right here, I think, really help to relieve the stress, both on the pliers and the scissors as well, is what I'm guessing. Now, Nextel has just said that their engineers wanted to specifically mention this is where they upgraded, both on the scissors and the pliers, that they have significantly made them better to cope with the stress, both with the scissors and the pliers as well. And I know some of you mentioned that you said the pliers were an issue uh, and uh, perhaps the scissors as well. Now, in other parts, I'll show you in a little bit how good these scissors are. They actually work really good. They're fantastic scissors, but that is the big upgrade that Nextel has done. And I think that will really help. Let's just go ahead, take a look at this tool, the mini flagship, what it offers. Now this comes in at three ounces, or I believe they say it is 79 grams. What, we, uh, what there is on this side, the scissors. These are very nice set of scissors compared to the size of the tool. There's also this can opener, bottle cap lifter, the knife right here. Close this up. We do have the keychain attachment, set of spring loaded pliers. Both the scissors and the pliers are spring loaded. On the outside of the pliers, you can access the file with a flat screwdriver bit. Then you can access the Phillips screwdriver bit as well. We have the components of the new spring right here. This is the new spring. It fits into this internal groove right here. Then this fits into the back uh, through here. It's a little bit harder to put it in. There we go on camera. Then you would put this spring in like so, right like that. Then you can go ahead, put this, and there is a place where it actually the notch fits right here with up here. And then we have to get the notch in the right place right there. And then you would put this on to tighten it up. You can just use a T8 bit with this right here. Pretty easy to take apart. The next tool mini flagship, I was sent several of these different colors. Just for your information, you can get this in green. You can get this in the red. Then also the plain silver as well. 
I think these are a great keychain option. Probably one of, actually, I do think they're one of the better ones out there on the market. I really like the Next Tool Mini Sailor, but this one is fantastic. If you're interested in scissors, this is probably one of the better ones on the market at the moment, really. Now with these upgraded set of scissors, I did want to mention that I actually find it a lot more comfortable to cut this way actually with the handle down. Just be careful you don't pinch yourself because that can happen. I've already done that. But when you actually cut this way, they cut fantastic. Usually I cut this way for whatever reason, but with the increased spring tension, it's actually a lot more comfortable to have the handle underneath and then the increased spring tension really doesn't bother you at all. Works great. Once again, how you can tell if this is the new version is if it has this indentation both on the plier and the spring. That's the giveaway. Also, next we'll mention that on Amazon, the black, the silver, and the green are the upgraded versions. But the black one, I guess it's sort of hit and miss. There's some old stock they need to get rid of. But the green, the red, and the silver will be the upgraded versions on Amazon. Again, I really appreciate Nextool for sending me this tool and also for listening to you guys and really trying to work on their tool to make it better. Most companies design something and then just let it sit around for years and years without changing anything. So I think it's fantastic that Nextool is trying to make their tool even better.